How you doing? Suppose you want a piece of paper and to check the fly. Okay, that I can do. Here you go. Uh, I hooked two, lost them both, just up here, so. Well, I could, but it wouldn't do me any good at all. That's a nice piece of water. Yeah, yeah, it's a nice river. First time here? Yes. Yeah, yeah, pretty, pretty place. Do you do much steelhead fishing? Uh, in Oregon. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of people from Oregon. Yeah. Here, yeah. I had some, uh, yeah, this group, uh, there's a fair number. A lot of people have this kind of a Portland connection. Okay. Yeah, the Michael who's down there, is from, I guess it's up here now, is from San Francisco. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of Oregon. Yeah. So you're river guardians, or yeah, you're... Yeah, they usually call us gamies or possums. Right, yeah. Or like that, but, uh, yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. So what's the difference? So you, you're with... Uh, the feds, the regional? Uh, we're with kind of more provincial uh -huh. and uh, a local, well, out of town loops, a uh, you know, non profit. Kind uh -huh. of it's, it's a bit of a partnership. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, the federal uh, guys just look after the salmon, basically. Right. So the steelhead is kind of what we focus on. Uh huh. Essentially, we're neither, but we liaise with both. Yeah. I'm sorry? We're neither, but we liaise with both. Oh, so. okay. Well, that's great. Yeah. So are you, uh, so like back in Oregon, there's a Native Fish Society. Uh, there's several organizations that kind of oversee uh, or help, I guess, really with that. Um, but they don't actually get involved with uh, checking licenses or stuff. Okay. Yeah, this is a pretty special program that's quite unique. Uh-huh. It's just for, uh, because of this class of uh, river here. Right, yeah, right. It's a specialized thing. So are you civilians or are you paid? Yeah, yeah. well, we're paid civilians. Oh, okay, that's yeah. <laughs> Not much, but uh, yeah, we're getting yeah. paid, yeah. So how do, you, how do you get around on the river with a boat? Uh, yeah, our jet boat's uh, just a silver boat down there. Uh -huh. We just decided to walk up. But, oh, good. Uh, yeah. So that's kind of fun. So does it look oh, like yeah. these boats? It's actually the exact same as uh, the Hudson boat, the other lodge. Uh -huh. It's a silver boat. Uh, we got it from the same uh, boat builder. Uh -huh. Is so it a power drifter? A power drifter. Yeah, like in Oregon, it's kind of a narrower boat that you can row. It's not really right. great for... Exactly, yeah. It's not a great row boat. Uh, it's not a super good um, jet boat, yeah. but That's it works exactly really well for everything. It's a very similar it's design to the boat. Boat. Yeah. Uh -huh. So the blue boats are called power drifters as well. Uh, well, that's what I. They look very similar. They're okay. kind of unique. They're much narrower. They cut yeah. down uh, to a small, smaller base. Exactly. Yeah, they are quite unique. And they've the got a river. they've got a nice uh, slope up, yep. so they kind of cut through things yep. quite nicely. And not it's just a little bit of a rocker on the back, not the full right. rocker on the back, but not uh, like a drift boat. Yeah, exactly. Uh huh. But yeah, no, it's they're designed especially for this river and. They're a little bit narrower than the bullet boats there, but very similar. Oh, uh-huh. Yeah, you'll have to. It's all made up the same style. Yeah. So is it a custom? Yeah. Nice. Yeah, it's a small uh, company out of uh, kind of north of here. It's uh -huh. called uh, New Hazel Pen Little Town. Oh, cool. Yeah. All right, you need anything else? No. Nope. All right. Okay. Super. Yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah.